What's up everybody? Okay, so I have three different hauls. I'm gonna combine into one video. I'm gonna try to separate them and do them into parts, but I have to do it quick because I have cold food. So um, the first part of this haul is a Bath and Body Works haul. Um, I had a gift card or whatever, so I just said, forget it. And then I'm glad I went because they had like a buy three, get three sale for today only. And usually it's like buy three, get one free, which one free is okay, but three free is even better. So yeah. Um, I'm not sure what I got free or the whatever and I also had a 20% off coupon on my rewards account and um, I think I had like a free item or whatever so I really didn't know there were so many items and discounts going on but I really didn't like pay attention I just know I saved a bunch of money um, so I got two of these colognes now I tried to get the same things but they didn't have the deodorant in the after dark, which is what I really was trying to get a set of individually. So I ended up getting a graphite scent for the cologne and two of the, two of the deodorants that I just recently bought. Um, I'm really like, I really, I really liking these like deodorants. They're nice. They last a long time scent wise. Um, I bought two cause like I said, they, they don't really last as long as the center stick of deodorant, but I mean, it's kind of a given. Um, and then, like I said, I got the after dark cologne. And I got the After Dark Body Cream. So I also got the Graphite. So I got the Graphite Body Cream, Cologne, and the two deodorants. And then the two After Dark with the Cologne and the Body Cream. If I would have been able to, been able to find a um, deodorant, I probably would have got the After Dark. But they didn't have it. So maybe for the semi-annual sale. So this is what I got from Bath & Body Works. I think the original total was like $120 before discounts or whatever. After discounts, I ended up spending like ninety six thirty seven all together. And like I said, I had a, uh, what am I trying to say, a gift card. So that saved me a lot of money. Um, again, I can't tell you the specifics of what I got free because it was buy through, get three free. Um, I know I've seen on my receipt um, like a couple of store coupons, 20% uh, off items. Um yeah, like I said, I'll have to go over my item. I mean, I would have to go over my receipt and figure out what is what. But I just know, like I said, I saved enough money. So that's really what all I cared about. So I'm going to go ahead and put these away or move them out the way and show you the stuff that I got from the other two stores. Okay, really quick, you guys. So I guess I could tell you the prices for some of these things. Some of these things were really good deals after the coupons came off. So the two colognes that you guys seen... Um, I think they were like 40 something a piece like 40 uh 44 95 a piece and i guess the discount took off like 12.99 a piece or yeah 12.99 um one of them was 44.95 and one of them was 49.95 um yeah like i said one of them took off 14.42 cents the other one took off 12.99 cents so I'm not good with math. Like I said, I'm not going to lie to you and tell you, you know, I knew or I know what those discounts came up to or if they even, you know, charge me like buy three, get three free. I, was, I thought it was going to be like if I bought three, I guess it really didn't. They, you really couldn't control which items you got for free. I don't know. I was hoping it would have been the forty nine ninety five items. But anyway, so yeah, like I said, those were the most expensive things and everything else was like within the 15... 16 and 17 dollar price range um and then the deodorants as you've seen in the video were each 12.95 so yeah those are my little prices there for you so i'm gonna like i said put this other stuff out from other two stores because i got two more stores to show you guys and i'll be right back okay so i'm not done but i wanted to show you guys this item by itself because it ripped um so i have this 20 pound bag of rice that i bought um i could have sworn the tag i mean the yeah the tag or sign or whatever on the self said like ten dollars but when i got to the checkout it was twelve dollars now normally i really wouldn't kind of care or complain about stuff like that but yeah i kind of see where customers get frustrated from a customer standpoint um like i said i'm just not a, a, a confrontational person so i really didn't care plus i didn't really have time to do all that stuff and then like i said when i got outside and i the uh, rice was on the bottom uh, bottom of my cart so when I took the rice off the bottom of the cart, I think it snagged the bottom of the cart and there was rice all over the ground. So I had to hurt and put it in this bag because I honestly was frustrated at that point and I wanted to just leave the fucking bag like that is paid for. 
on the ground. Like, and walked the fuck away. <laughs> like, I was over it. So, like I said, I just want to show you this because I couldn't really put this on the counter like I wanted to. So, um, I didn't really lose that much. Maybe about a cup or so. So, I mean, it's 20 pounds. So, I don't want to be petty. But, yeah, I'm going to finish putting everything away. Or showing you guys the stuff. Okay, you guys, I'm back. So, um, so the two stores that I went to was Walmart and this is my also my first time going to Meyer. So this is a Walmart and Meyer hall. Well, in a Bath and Body Works hall. But you guys seen that earlier in the video. So um, over here I got these, and I don't really under I don't remember which store exactly that I got stuff from. I tried to organize it, but I honestly didn't have the space. So it was either organize it or just throw it up here. So I got these uh, screaming Sicilian pizzas that I've been actually looking for forever. The Walmart Supercenter in my town in Akron does not um, carry these. They only carry the single ones, which is annoying. Um, and these two, which is weird. So um, I went to the Walmart in Brimfield and I think, was it Walmart that I got these from? No, I got these from uh, Meyer. I believe Meyer. So these came from Meyer. So this is a thin and crispy double sausage. And then this is the uh, thin and crispy cheese. Um, they didn't have the um some of the flavors that i wanted to get like the uh, varieties like the meat lovers and all that stuff were the ones i wanted to try like the i think they had a bessie's revenge they were literally like out I, I was like really those would have, would have been good it's like every store i went to um looking for stuff didn't have it i was kind of disappointed because this is my first time at meyer and some of the things that i've seen on youtube were where i got the um was where I got the, uh, what am I trying to say? The, uh, ideas from to get stuff. And I finally went out there and get it and they didn't have it. So was kind of disappointed. Um, I finally also found these, these are home run and pizzas. This is a sausage and uncured pepperoni. This is regular crust, I believe. Um, this is the cheese pizza. Um, this is the uncured pepperoni wait did i get two of the same no uncured pepperoni so there's three there's another one but um it was like a it had a bunch of stuff that i didn't like like it was a supreme they had olives once i seen the word olives i was like yep nope it will stay there and then i think they had another one which was like a meat lovers which like i said they didn't have i was like really i could have got all four and y'all bought all the freaking good ones I was mad. They happen. I think they happen for both of these pizzas too. Um, and I also got these uh, breadsticks from Screaming Sicilian. I just happened to see these. Um, these are nacho cheese and cheesy garlic loaded breadsticks. Um, those are the only two I've seen. And then I also got this Screaming Sicilian holy pepperoni. Now I thought I caught myself getting two different varieties, but I'm not sure how I got two of the same ones. I don't know why I thought they were two different ones. Um, yeah. So at least I got two of those. So I got those. Um, let me see. I think some of the stuff came from Walmart. Um, I'll just tell you the receipts and totals at the end. Um, I got this uh, Hillshire Farms uh, roast beef. I got some lunch meat. Um, apparently, I'm back eating meat again. Actually, I really never stopped fully. Anyway, I got a gallon of milk from Walmart. Obviously, I got these Albany's Ultimate Gummy Bears. Now, I did buy some from Big Lots uh, like a week or so ago, but it's a smaller, a bigger bag. Um, these are hard to find. So, yeah, like I can only find them at like Big Lots and maybe Target sometimes, depending on where you go. So, I got those. Um, I got some watermelon chunks because I wanted some fruit. Uh, the Walmart that I went to last time, the one I used to go to in Arlington and Akron, didn't have any watermelon cut up at all. So... Yeah, I think I got these from uh, Meyer, And then from Walmart, these are new. This is one of their new brands. This is uh, plant-based ice cream. I got the coffee. This is made with oat milk, non-dairy frozen desserts. This is coffee. Um, I got the uh, vanilla. I got uh, da -da -da, salted caramel. And, yeah, salted caramel. And our, uh, strawberry. So... They had another kind, but I really wasn't interested in it. And then also, I'm glad I looked because I, rem I remembered something at the last minute. I had actually picked up, they had like a regular flavor, like a regular, I guess, dairy version of uh, this brand. And it was in a blue container. But then I realized something that I took a note of, that the containers were green. 
I said, wait a minute, didn't they say plant-based on the package? So luckily, I have something said look further down, and I did, and I seen these. I'm like, oh, thank God. I was about to buy the wrong ones, and it would have been mad as hell. So I got those. They were, I think, three-something a piece, which is pretty good for, like, plant-based. Um, Tammy Dunn re reviewed a lot of these items on her channel, so go ahead and follow and subscribe to her channel. Um, I got a lot of ideas, like the home run pizzas I've been looking for. The ice cream she just reviewed, Screaming Sicilian, is like one of their favorite pizzas, her and her husband. So I'm really excited to try these Screaming Sicilian pizzas now that I know where to get them from. <clears throat> um, over here, I got some Granny Smith apples. Um, this is a three pound bag. These are actually marked down to like three something. I think the regular price was like six something, which is weird because like, okay, I bought these before and they weren't this high. But anyway, I got two bags of those. And then I got this big, well, this is the same size bag. It's just organic. This is the first bag that I've seen. Then I've seen these. I'm like, oh, wait, these are the ones that I always buy. So, but I didn't put these back because, like I said, now I have apples. I really, I didn't want to put these back and just be weird. So, and I also got these coconuts. Now, I wanted the young coconuts, the ones you can stick the straw in that actually come with the straw. But they didn't have those. And so I said, forget it. I'll figure out how to do these. If anybody knows how to open these, let me know in the comment section. Um... Yeah, because I guess these are like adult coconuts. I don't know. Like, they just have fuzz and stuff on them. So, yeah, hopefully. I shook them and it, they have liquid in them. So, I know it's not like some weird shit. So, I got two of these. I got a loaf of wheat bread. This is 100% wheat bread. Now, last time in my other video, I had the sugar-free 100% wheat bread. It was like almost $5 a loaf. This is only like $1.97. I can't afford that no more. So, I'm sorry. I'm getting regular bread from now on um i got a, a pack of these dixie ultra bowls now they had the 50 count it was like 688 i'm like yeah i don't really need 50 bowls right now 25 is just cool uh i got some more toothpaste this is the aim i had seen some colgate but it was like oh no crest but it was like it was like a penny cheaper or a penny more but you didn't get as much toothpaste so yeah um what else did i get i got some of these rager cartridges i finally broke down and bought these because these are expensive so when i was at walmart the last time they didn't have the four pack and i wasn't about to spend thirty dollars on the uh what is it, like the 18 pack or the eight pack yeah i'm like even though i would have them for a while that was just still too much for one item so i tried to get the four pack so it wouldn't last me either way um and these last me a long time like one of these last me a month so i'll have i'll have ragers with red eye I'll have razors for um, at least four months. I don't know how much I sh I don't shave that often. I don't shave like every week or every two. This is whenever. You know what I'm saying? Um, then I got some toothbrushes. These are the firm ones. I'm glad I, uh, these are like a dollar. So I think this is like the best bargain because you get like six up in here. The other one's like a dollar a piece for single ones. I'm like, yeah, no. Let me look. Um, So everything together, I'm just going to give you the totals for each store so at walmart it was 1303 i had a gift card for walmart and then for meyer it was 6384 um i paid food stamps with that so the candy the watermelon the candy and the watermelon and our, uh the pizza and the breadsticks all came from meyer so yeah, everything else came from Walmart. So, and I'm mad I spent 60 some dollars on pizza. Like, yeah. But I haven't had frozen pizza in a long time. So, it's like a little treat for me. Plus, I want to try these brands. It wasn't just me buying pizza just to buy pizza. Like, so yeah. Um, Like I said, 113 at Walmart and then 63.84 at Meyer. Now, I went to the Meyer on, uh, I guess it's Kent. Even though the sign said the sign said Brimfield, Brimfield Township, um, I guess it's all the same thing. It's in Portage County. There's a bus that takes you from Akron to, like, it's like on the border of um, Portage County, Kent, whatever you want to call it, Brimfield. I don't know. Um, one is across the street from the other. Um, it's on Talmadge Road in Kent, Ohio. If that makes any sense, or if you guys know the area, I'm not from Ta well, I'm opposite. I'm not from Talmadge. I don't know the area. I should say. So I've only been out there like one or once or twice. So I finally went to Meyer. Um, what else is I gonna say? Da, 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 da. Um, apparently, if you use your Snap card, whatever you want to call it, EBT food stamps at Meyer, I guess you get um, like a discount off of fruit. I don't know because I had seen it at the time. I'm like, wait, I didn't have a coupon, so it took off ten percent off of that. 
and then uh 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 uh, 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 uh yeah there's no sales at uh it was just prices <laughs> pretty much um yeah so i'm gonna actually really go i probably want to go back to meyer um occasionally or whatever now that i got food stamps again because yeah they're expensive like they cost more i think than everybody else but yeah so like i said this is everything that i got from walmart and meyer and like i said you guys seen the uh stuff that i got from bath and body works i really love their men's collection like the scents last a long time especially the colognes like the clone is like 44 50 dollars well not 50 it's like 45 49 dollars a bottle but it lasts a long time like all you need is like one or two spritzes you know what i'm saying and it lingers yeah so like i said good quality stuff um so leave a comment down below if you guys have ever been to myers if you guys have a Meyer in your area or if you guys have tried any of these brands especially the home run and pizzas um i've seen some really good things about these I actually might have one of these for dinner tonight i'm not even gonna lie to you it's like 10 59 um i left here at the house like this morning um i got down to the transit at like what i want to say i'm just going to say nine it's 8 30 9 o'clock anyway long story short it's been a long day um i've only been home once to come get my cart because i didn't i knew i was going to the store this is my cart so i wasn't about to go to the store without my cart because as you can see i would have been carrying bags on top of bags on top of bags and yeah no so um what was i going to say um yeah i've been all all day literally pretty much um it's been a long day the buses were free today that's pretty much why i went out to the store today um and then what else um today was like that that solar eclipse thing so that's actually why the buses were free um i don't think any other transit agencies were free today um cleveland canton i don't think so um especially not cleveland they don't never have a free day let me know in the comments if y'all know spill the tea but um yeah so like i said it's been a long day um so i'm gonna put this stuff away before it like thaws out and everything thank you guys for watching my video um like i said leave me a comment if you guys have tried any of these brands before also let me know in the comments about these coconuts because like i said um i'm not used to the ones that are like i guess i'm assuming these are adult ones how do you open these because i don't have the little stick straw thingy when i bought the other ones that save a lot they were like baby coconuts or young coconuts or whatever and they had a little straw you just poked a hole and drunk through the little straw thing and i sucked those down in like three minutes like that's how good it was but yeah um like i said let me know in the comment section about the coconuts and everything and i will talk to you guys in my next video again this has been my walmart meyer and bath and body works haul um thank you guys for watching peace out